Nation. And who do we have here? Because this, this is, seems like a very energetic guy. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes, very much. So he is, his name is Frank. Hi, Frank. And he is a military macaw. And right now he's doing his little head bobbing, which he loves to do. He does that all the well, time. Well, he should take that move to the club. <laughs> From Central and Northern South America, they're actually critically endangered in the natural environment and oh. in the wild out there. So, But he came from a reputable breeder here in the United States, but he was a, a pet that somebody had, and so we've been working with him for the last couple of years. You can train them, right? Yes, very intelligent. What can they yes. learn to do? They can learn to talk. They can learn words, they can learn body movements, uh, and they can learn to, to to grab things and move things around and, and, and handle things. And so they're very, very, they're puzzle solvers, so they're very intelligent. Uh, and that's why it's so, much, it's so much fun to train them. They're easy to train. They pick up on a lot of stuff. Well, he gets to hang out here in the trees, right? Yes, that's right, yeah. He loves hanging out in the trees. I can put him up there now if you want. Oh, let's see. see. Here we go. He just kind of, he just loves to come out there and make sounds and he's uh, kind of waving to you oh, right hey, now. Hey, hi, Frank. Hi, hey, Frank. Well, hi, way up there. Now, how strong is that beak? That beak can bite down with a thousand pounds of pressure per really? bite. Every time it bites down, it's a thousand pounds. Oh my It's gosh. incredible. It's a, it's a tool, it's a nutcracker. They uh -huh. use it to crack nuts. They can also use it to tear apart pieces of wood, uh, like trees, to build their nests. Uh, it's how they also build their nests, and that's also how they protect themselves, so they can bite uh, with that beak. So you gotta be very careful working with these type of birds. And is their tongue pretty strong too? Or? Yeah, and their tongue is very different. It doesn't, uh -huh. it's not wet. It doesn't, yeah. the, the saliva is actually in the back of the tongue. The reason why is because they use it kind of like a finger to manipulate the, the nut in the shells uh -huh. to move them around so they can crack around the shell. Uh, so it is, it is kind of a, a finger. It feels like a finger if you were to touch it. About the same pressure as a finger out there. And the black feathers around his eyes, uh -huh. those are his fingerprints. We all have individual fingerprints. All macaws all have different patterns. So you can never see another macaw with the same pattern. That's how you, that's one way of telling, telling them, apart. them apart individually. Yeah, are the black feathers around their eyes. Which is kind of interesting, right? And how often do they eat? I they mean, eat throughout the day. Throughout they're, the day. They, they, yeah, they're they, grazers. They're grazers. They'll <laughs> nibble. And, I mean, he gets fed different fruit and vegetables, and he gets a fortified diet. But out in the wild, of course, they'll find whatever they can, whenever they can, uh, for sure. And they're just, yeah, they just love to eat a variety of different nuts and seeds. And he right. loves grapes. He likes to skin the grape, too. So he takes <laughs> it, well, he takes the skin off the grape and eats just the meat of the grape. That's kind of what they do. <laughs> yeah. And do you bring Frank around? Oh, yeah. To schools oh, yeah. and... And, you know, oh. educational events? He, do, he does. He's actually a, a frequent flyer. He does spend <laughs> a lot of time with me, so to speak. Uh, he does spend a lot of time with me. We travel a lot, and he does visit a lot of schools as well. And he's a lot of fun because he likes to talk, and he makes sounds. So all, all the kids love that mm -hmm. as well. And you do that, of course, with a lot of the other animals yes. here as well. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, all these animals, we travel with most of them. Some of the ones that we don't travel with are the ones that uh, we had to rehabilitate and rescue. So now they're here to spend the rest of their lives comfortable, uh, but they stay here. But most of the animals we have do go and travel. And this of course, fun. you can go out to schools. Where can folks go for more information? Uh, they can go to zoomagination.com uh, and they can uh, get some more information about our programs there. They can also email me there and, and call me directly if they want to at zoomagination.com. All right, for more information on Robert Trejo, just head to our website and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we've provided a link to zoomagination.com.